Chief Minister of Meghalaya and myself will visit uh, Karvialang and Jaintia Hills area where presently some unrest is going on as a confidence building measure so that uh, the people in both sides feel confident and they will be assured that both the state will resolve the differences, resolve the dispute with a uh, spirit of the long long existed long long existed friendship between the people and people of Meghalaya and Assam. Uh, I think today is the uh, another beginning because after Sri Konrad Sangma re-elected to the uh, post of uh, Chief Minister Meghalaya, for the first time we are interacting at the official level and I believe that through a process of discussion, mutual trust and confidence, we will be able to resolve the other six areas of disputes uh, much earlier than what we are expecting. So uh, this is what I want to say and I will request CM Meghalaya to address all of you. My Okonman Ahomiyata Kothakini Kodisu, the Aji Meghalaya Mukhamantri, Konrad Sangma, Aru Tenor Hotito Hokolor Hoite, Amar Ahom Sorkar Ekhon Boito Konustito Hoi, Ahomaru Meghalaya Majot, Barota area of difference asile, twelve area of differences, Tare Soita Ami Itimoide. Resolve Korisu, Hamadhan Korisu, Aru Soita area Amar resolve Koribolo Bakiase, Ajirapura, Ami Gothon Koridia Regional Committee Homuhe, A Sota Obokisto, Bibadman area, Homon Koribo, Rajor Logot Kothapatibo, Aru Hamadhanor, Sesta Koribo. A जून महार खेखर फाले मेघालय मुख्यमंत्री डांगोरियार खोईते मय आमार कार्बियालंग आरो जयंतिया हिल्सर जी एरियात बर्तमान हमय हमय विवाद होय ठका देखा गयसे हे एरिया केटात आमी एज ए कॉन्फिडेंस बिल्डिंग मेजर हिसाबे भ्रमण करिम जाते दुई राज्यर मानुहर माजत बन्धुत्वर भाव आमी उभटाय आनिबो पारु आरो राइजे जाते हांति रे बखबा करিব पारे म मेघालय मुख्यमंत्री डांगोरिया टेखेटर वक्तव्य आग बढाबोले अनुरोध जनम अ द वेरी आउटसेट आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक द ऑनरेबल चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ असम एंड हिज कोलीग्स फॉर हैविंग होस्टेड दिस वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड क्रूशियल मीटिंग uh, we have uh, attended this meeting along with the different uh, chairmen of the different regional committees. And as has been mentioned already by the Honorable Chief Minister of Assam, that uh, this is the beginning of the process to find a solution to the six areas of differences which are left uh, between Assam and the state of Meghalaya. As mentioned in the meeting today, we went through all the details and all the different reports and uh, different discussions took place and uh, we have asked now the regional committees to now start the process of uh, fact-finding going into the details discussions with stakeholders and the same process which was followed uh, in the previous uh, phase uh, the regional committees will uh, go through that we'll have multiple meetings and as i said we'll consult with uh, multiple stakeholders and uh, we hope that uh, we will be able to get reports very soon. In some areas, it may be faster. Some areas may take a bit more time. Uh, and uh, during that proce process and procedure, the Honorable Chief Minister of Assam and myself uh, will be visiting the uh, different areas, uh, especially in uh, uh, the areas uh, bordering uh, Karbialong and uh, West Jente Hills, where we know that some tension has, has come in. And uh, this visit is uh, mostly to appeal to the people that we should maintain peace, to give them the confidence that we are serious about this entire procedure and process, and we would like to come to a, a solution at the earliest. But uh, during that process, uh, we need to also maintain peace. Uh, so these steps will be taken. 
we expect that in the month of July, uh, we should be, uh, we will be meeting again to review the reports or the progress of work of the different uh, committees. And uh, I'm very confident that with the leadership that we have in Assam, uh, under the leadership of uh, Dr. Himanta Bishwas Sarmaji, and also with the full support of Government of India, uh, we are sure that we'll be able to move forward in this phase also. Uh, things are complicated, but uh, we believe that where there is a will, there is a way, and we will find a way forward. Uh, the trust and uh, the friendship that we have had uh, will continue to guide us to ensure that we are able to resolve uh, these areas of differences which uh, are very critical to be resolved for the future. Uh, at the same time, we have also asked uh, the different uh, departments, the Survey of India, to continue with the survey work that is going on in the first six areas of differences. And we have asked them to uh, discuss with uh, the different officials and uh, in the public at the grassroots level to ensure that we take everybody into confidence and we are able to uh, finish the survey work also for the first six areas of differences at the earliest. Uh, so with these few words, I once again, on behalf of the government of Meghalaya and the people of Meghalaya, would like to thank Honorable Chief Minister of Assam and his government for having hosted this meeting. And is thank you. the time frame that both the government has agreed upon of it? Uh, look, uh, as Honorable CM Meghalaya has said, that this six area is little bit complicated in nature. So putting a time frame is probably not a uh, very fair idea. But what we have agreed today, that we will again meet in the month of July to review the progress of the work done by our regional committees. So there will be some area where we can arrive at settlement earlier, some area it will take time. So in this meeting today, we have consciously decided not to put any time frame before us, but we have decided to meet again in the month of July. You see, out of these six area, we have Lumpy, and we have also Khanduli, Block 1, Block 2, and there people of both sides are emotive. It is not that uh, the temperature is uh, different in both the states. Both the states are emotive about this issue, and in Assam side, the question of autonomous district council also there where Assam government direct, do not directly have a control over the land. So these areas will be little bit difficulty, but as CM Meghalaya said, when there is a will, there will be a way. So we have decided to progress, we have decided to go ahead with the spirit of friendship, and we believe that solution will come out, but we don't want to put a time frame. You are only reporting about the city. So, hume, there is an area of dispute. We have a lot of people who are in the city. We have a lot of people who are in the city. We have a lot of people who are in the city. We have a lot of people who are in the We have a lot of people in the city. We have a lot of people who are in the city. We have a अलग अलग इंसिडेंस होते हैं तो अंत में जो ये फाइनल सलूशन जो होगा इसी से हम लोग एक एक तरीके से हम लोग एक वहाँ पे शांति ला सकते हैं और इसलिए ये जो घटनाएं हुए ये पिछले 50 साल में जो भी इश्यूज हुए हमारे स्टेट्स के बीच में इसको सॉल्व करने के लिए ही हम लोग आज काम कर रहे हैं तो ये विजिट्स पब्लिक को ये कॉन्फिडेंस देगा कि हम लोग सीरियस हैं और हम चाहेंगे कि पब्लिक हमारे साथ रहे और हमारे साथ काम करे or we will solve it with the same way. Consultation, consultation with the public. Let the press from Meghalaya. You mentioned that in the Kapi Arun sites is quite difficult. So in what way you are going to convince the Kapi Arun Arunas of it? Because as you said, land belongs to them. And how will the Assam government place its role to ensure that these areas are resolved? First of all, Karbi Arun is also part of Assam. There are administrative mechanisms where lands have been given to Karbi Alang Council by the Constitution of India. But having said that, the 
representative from Karbialong Council is also member of the regional committee. And you must understand that uh, we are not two different entity. Whatever Assam government will decide will take into uh, Karbi along into the confidence and whatever Karbi along will decide, they will take Assam government into confidence. So their issue is complicated, but when we want to resolve it, it can be resolved. We'll visit together and we'll talk to the people and we'll try to see, we'll assure people that look, this problem will resolve amicably, maintain peace for the time being. Uh, let us not go into the details of the nitty gritty. This will be looked after by the regional committees. Amar yate tini khon tini khone ase district khine Thank you. How many regional committees from your side? So there are three regional committees from both the state governments, all headed by cabinet ministers, and the regional committees have got uh, different stakeholders, uh, especially local representatives. And as I said, the regional committees, as done before, they will be uh, consulting co uh, and conducting several meetings with many, many stakeholders. So our idea is that we want to really take everybody together and find an amicable solution to this. Thank you. Thank you.